Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to 270 to win. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. Okay, everyone, we have the 271.com source that my beautiful wife just mentioned. So anything that makes you mad or makes you happy, blame it on 270.com. This is our source. It's not our opinion. It's 271.com's personal opinion. They tell you, here's all the polls, the links to all their polls, the blue wall, things like that demeans the office, you know, crap like that. It says, Harris holds a huge lead among those who have voted already, which we mentioned in the realclearpolling.com video that we uploaded earlier today. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. It's the video right before this one gets uploaded. Okay, let's fill in that beautiful map according to 272win.com. All right, Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Hawaii with 4 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska with 3 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with 4 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada. Nevada is a toss-up state. It's kind of a swing state, battleground state, whatever you want to call it. Nevada, according to 271.com, is two clicks, leans right to Donald J. Trump. He will probably win Nevada, but who knows because according to uh, 271.com, um, Nevada has been gray, which is, you know, toss-up. Either one could win. It's leaned blue, heavy blue before, like, uh, California blue over there on the left. And then it's just recently went red and then light pink. And then went back and forth. Every few days it, it goes back to being a gray state or a light blue or a light red state. So that's just for clarification. If you notice that this 272win.com video is different than others, they have updated their polls and updated uh, their numbers and percentages. Arizona, with 11 electoral votes, according to 270toWin.com, Arizona is a toss-up, as we just mentioned about Nevada, so it will not be colored in. It could go to either candidate. Other sources, like RealClearPolling.com, has Arizona at a heavy red with Donald Trump at over a point lead over Kamala Harris, but according to um, 270toWin.com, there is no clear lead uh, for Arizona, according to their polls that they've conducted. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, according to 271.com, the five electoral votes uh, in New Mexico go to Kamala Harris, but it's two clicks, light blue, with a slight change. Uh, New Mexico was heavy blue, but according to 271.com, New Mexico is a light blue now. It's slowly shifting to the right. It will not be a red state probably for the next 10 to 20 years, maybe even 30, according to recent trends and shifts in politics in New Mexico. Just for clarification on why it's light blue, some people have asked why it's light blue. This is according to 270win.com's polling conducted. The slow shift to light blue, then to battleground, then to red, and then probably back. States always, um, <laughs> two states always flip back and forth every 30 years, usually. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is... Red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. The first district of Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. And the third district, according to 270to1.com, is two clicks instead of one click. It's light blue for Kamala Harris. Swip it back to red. Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma with seven electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas with 40 electoral votes is two clicks, light red for Donald J. Trump. People are asking, Texas is heavy red. No, it's not. Texas, over the last two cycles uh, of elections, has been shifting slowly to purple. And then they said that with all the um, Californians and the New Yorkers moving out of California and out of New York to Texas, it's shifting it further and further to the blue, to the Democrats. The issue is when it comes to moving out of your state, California, the cost of living is super high. Um, also, the crime is, is through the roof. The homelessness is horrible. I've been there. My mother's been there. My mother's husband has been there. And my sister have been there to California in the last eight years. There's trash all over the place. There's homeless people on the side of the road. 
There's needles. They poop on the road. That's what my mother told me. I am not kidding you. She said it's very disgusting. It's the, the, it's a burden to live in. So those people with the high taxes and, and the high cost of living and the high price of groceries and food and high co cost of gasoline, same for the New York, are going to red states like Texas and Florida, and they're still bringing their voting base with them. They're not voting any differently. They're still voting for Democrats, the, the, the things that they ran away from, and that's why Texas, for clarification, is, is light pink and then turning purple, and then eventually it's probably going to go blue, thanks to Austin and Dallas, um, Texas. So that's why Texas is light pink. For clarification, for people that say that we are making that up, um, if you're escaping from, from a state that crime is out of control, homelessness is out of control, prices are out of control, don't vote for the same people that you're running away from. You're going to turn the state that you move to into the state you escape from. It should be common sense, but apparently most people in America don't have that. Minnesota with 10 electoral votes according to 270win.com. Minnesota is two clicks light blue for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Wisconsin according to 272win.com and Michigan according to 270win.com. Their 10 and 15 electoral votes, both states are toss-up still. According to RealClearPolling.com, however, Trump is leading in both, but Wisconsin and Michigan, according to 271.com, are toss-ups. It's either or who could win the states. They will not be colored in. Iowa, according to 271.com, Iowa's six electoral votes are two clicks red. They lean red toward Donald J. Trump. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes, according to 270win.com. Illinois is deep blue, one click for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Ohio with 17 electoral votes is two clicks, red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. They're eating the cats and dogs. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida with 30 electoral votes according to 272win.com. Florida is two clicks red. It leans heavily right for Donald J. Trump. They did not think he was going to win it in 2020, and they barely thought he was going to win it in 2016. He won it both times. And it has been read ever since Ron DeSantis got into office. Uh, some people like him. Some people don't like him. We don't care because we don't live in Florida. Uh, but that's just for clarification purposes. Again, like I mentioned, people are moving from California and New York to Texas and Florida. And they're shifting them a little bit. But the Cubans and the um, legal Hispanics saved Florida for Donald J. Trump in 2020 and 2016. They escaped from communism. They escaped from socialism. And they escaped from fascism, moved to Florida and parts of Texas, uh, and they made Florida red because they did not want it to become the place that they escaped from. Georgia, according to 270win.com, Georgia's 16 electoral votes go to nobody. It's undecided to toss up. It will not be colored in. Uh, according to realclearpolling.com, however, Georgia is leaning toward Trump with between a 0.8 and uh, 1.6 lead over Harris in Georgia. But early voting does have Kamala Harris surging, which is great for the Democrats that want her to win Georgia and bad for the Republicans that don't want her to win Georgia. Uh, as I said earlier, we don't care who wins. It doesn't change our lives at all. South Carolina with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump, according to 270win.com. North Carolina with 16 electoral votes. Real clear polling has it with Trump in the lead, but 270win.com does not have it filled in. It does not have uh, the percentages for either one. It is a toss-up. Either candidate, Kamala or Trump, could win North Carolina. Virginia with 13 electoral votes. According to 270win.com, Virginia is two clicks blue for Kamala Harris. Real clear polling has Virginia as a heavy blue, but 270win.com has it as a light blue for Kamala Harris, giving her the 13 sacred electoral votes. Pennsylvania, this is a big state. Um, both candidates really, really need Pennsylvania. Uh, Kamala Harris doesn't actually need Pennsylvania in order to win the election, but it would solidify her win um, in the 2024 election if she does get Pennsylvania. And according to 270win.com, 
Pennsylvania is grayed out. The percentages are even. They are tied according to the percentages on 271.com. Pennsylvania will not be colored in. It is a toss-up. New York with 28 electoral votes according to 271.com. New York is blue for Kamala Harris. Now we got Maine. According to uh, 272win.com, the first district, I believe, of Maine, ME01, is red for Donald J. Trump. And the second district of Maine is blue for Kamala Harris, and Maine at large is blue for Kamala Harris. So she's winning Maine. That state's not really super important. I mean, both candidates need as many electoral votes as they can get. However, losing it wouldn't be that big of a deal unless you're at like two, two, um, 266 or something like that. You need the four votes to get to 270. Now let's fill in the rest of this. New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and D.C. are all blue for Kamala Harris. So who is in the lead according to 271.com? That would put Kamala Harris at 226 electoral votes and Donald J. Trump at 223. So based on these statistics right now, Kamala Harris is winning the election in 2024. The toss-ups are 89 electoral votes for the toss-up states or the battleground states, making Kamala Harris our small margin winner of 271.com's current polling today. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out.